Happy October. Can you believe it's already October? Wow, that means fall time, not so much here in Florida. It's just hot and sticky here in Florida. But I know for a lot of you guys, it is fall and you guys are already feeling it. Those beautiful trees outside, the beautiful changing of weather. Some people even have snow. I heard uh, that a few of you guys have snow up in North Dakota and Montana. So crazy. Well, I just wanted to hop on here as we are starting off the first day of October. Hi, Josh. Welcome. I think I see Yvonne's on here already. Awesome. So I wanted to hop on here and just talk really quick, you know, about the last 90 days. I'm seeing this hashtag all over the place. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Cindy. Yvonne, you know all about uh, Q4. You've been through Q4 with us before. And what is Q4? Q4 is the last four months of the year. Well, now we're down to the last three months of the year, guys, the last 90 days of the year. And it's funny because this year I'm seeing, you know, hashtags are big, right? Got to be with the times. And I'm seeing a lot of the hashtag of hashtag 90 days left of 2018 or 90 days or 90 day countdown till 2019. All these different um, hashtags that are going around that basically are all saying the same thing. We have 90 days until this year is over. Are you going to be happy with where your business is at? Are you gonna be satisfied with what you've done to build your business, to increase your business, and to continue to make your business exactly where you want it to be? So first and foremost, before we even get started today, hey, Maria, welcome. Um, you'll have to comment if you wanna hop on here for just a minute and say something, you're welcome to, so just let me know. Um, just invite yourself and I'll say yes if you want to go on live. Uh, but really, guys, what I want you guys to think about is what do you want out of this business, right? What is it that you see? What do you see for your Thanksgiving, for your family? A lot of you have a long, week, a long week that week, a whole week off. I know we do. Some of you have a few days off. Some of you like to fly or drive to see your family, and maybe that hasn't been an option in the past, but it could be an option this year, right? We definitely have the opportunity for that to be um, a possibility. Hi, Tanya. And... What about what about the holidays? What about Christmas or Hanukkah? What do you see for yourself and for your family? Have you really taken time to stop and think, what do I want to see out of these holidays? What do I want to see happen? And not just long-term, but short-term too. What do I want to see happen in the month of October? What do I want to see happen in November? And what do I want to see happen in January? Because that's what's really going to explode your business to bring you into 2019 exactly where you want to be. So I'm sharing this because you guys know I'm really big on goals. I'm really big on setting your vision and really getting connected with that, right? That's the whole reason I wake up 30 minutes before my family every single morning. Hopefully you guys saw that Zoom last week that I did about my morning routine. And if you didn't, uh, just ask me and I will get you that link. We also put it up on the wethrivevault.com under personal development. You can find it there as well. I like it. Jennifer already has her goals. She wants 12K, 40K, 80K, 200K. I like it. Um, and so I start off my morning every single morning and it's focused. It's focused on my, on my affirmations, on my visualization about what I want to achieve that month, what I want to achieve that quarter, and what I want to achieve within the year. So I know long term what I'm hoping to achieve. I know that I want to help somebody else at 200K before this year ends. But how do I break that down monthly? What do I do? If I want to see my business increase, what am I doing every single day to see that business increase, right? So I'm going to start big and go down small. First, what do you want for the next 90 days? What do you want out of your business? And again, I'm going to emphasize what I always emphasize, which is I like to do it in three parts. I know that for me, the most important thing in my life is God, family, my business. Okay, so for me, what is it that I want to see happen over the next 90 days with my personal relationship with God? What do I want to see happen with, and so for me, I committed to being in a weekly Bible study. I'm actually leading it. And then what do I want to see happen with my family? We have things that we've committed to as a family. What do I want to see in my business? I have daily action that I'm committed to to get the results of the 90-day plan that I want to see with my business. And so that's why we've been launching this 54321 is to help you guys with the daily action. Now, I'm going to bring up a really good point, which is some of you guys are doing double, triple, quadruple. You guys are going to hear from Pamela on Wednesday. She's going to go live on here on Wednesday and share 
why she's doing 54321 at a much higher rate. She's doing way more than just 54321 in a day because she told me, I have a big goal. I want to get to 200K. I can't just reach out to five people a day. I can't just follow up with four. I have a big goal. When I was running for 200K in my, in my first four months in business, I was probably reaching out to about 20 to 30 a day. I was following up with about 20 to 30 a day. And I was definitely bringing at the minimum three to five three-way calls to Elise every day. She would say to me, if you wanna be 200K fast, you need to bring me five to 10 three-way calls a day. So my goal every single day was to bring her five. Sometimes I got three, that was like, I would not go to bed until I had three. Sometimes I brought her 10. If it was a really great day and I could get a bunch of people on the phone. But that's what I'm saying. You're running at a faster speed if you're trying to get to 200K, right? Pam just said it right. 90 day run toward 200K. Awesome. So she's going to be doing a much bigger, massive action for bigger results. Thank you. She's doing a bigger run, right? But that's why we're giving you this 54321. What do you need to do every single day to see the results that you want to see? If you want to be 12K, this is the perfect plan for you. If you want to be 4K, perfect plan for you. If you want to help other people on your team to know what they need to be doing in order to have success, perfect plan. So let's all plug in to the daily action of 54321. Now, while you're doing the 54321, what you're going to figure out is you're going to learn how to utilize all the tools that are out there, right? So for example, tomorrow we're going to have a live with Nicole Panda. Of course, somebody's at my door right now. That's hilarious. We're going to have a live with Nicole Panda and it's going to be all about how she last week used her five reach outs and four follow-ups she used the tool of youtube videos she figured out how to really maximize the youtube videos that lavelle offers and have people that are connecting with those videos on a personal level and she had some really great results so you'll figure out how to utilize the tools that you love and every week it might be a little different so today for example after i break down really quick about what five four three two one is again just to remind you I'm gonna be using the breast cancer. Have you guys seen that news yet? If you haven't seen that, go check your emails. If you didn't get an email from Lavelle, it means you need to go check your spam and make sure you're getting emails from Lavelle because there is something really exciting for the month of October. Breast cancer awareness is different this year for us. Your customers can go on, they can donate 10, 50, 100, and they get a wristband. They get one for $10 donation, two for the $50 donation, and three wristbands for the $100 donation. They can add it to their auto ship, which is so cool. They can log in and add that to their auto ship, or they can just go on, purchase something, and add that in. So this is a really great way where people can give back to an amazing cause that's so close to every single woman out there, right? And this would be a great thing to use for social media, for reach outs, for follow ups. Great thing. I saw that you uploaded that cover photo, Tracy, and I copied you. So great job. But do more than that, guys. Don't just put up the photo. Utilize it for your reach outs. Utilize it for your follow ups. Utilize it for reaching out to people on social media and for posting on social media. Maybe even talking about what this means to you. So let's break down. What do you want to do each and every day? You want to do five reach outs every single day. You wanna do four follow-ups every single day. You wanna do three social media shares a day, something on social media, okay? Um, so that could be, in case you guys have been following what I do, I do a social media post in the morning and I do a social media post in the afternoon or evening. One of them, I try to always make either a Thrive Experience story that I got off the fan page or a story from somebody personally that I know that maybe I've saved, or maybe it's a before and after picture of somebody, or maybe it's a YouTube video from the Lavelle YouTube official page. I'm trying to put out there something to do with Lavelle, okay? Um, today I put up a post about Boost and keeping my body alkaline, and um, I stole that from Nancy Prosser, and I just loved it so much that I put it up and talked about all the things that Boost does for me personally. So that was my post. And then later today will be something else um, and you know, maybe it'll be motivational. Maybe it'll be about Lavelle and Thrive again. It might be about me heading to Cabo this weekend. All right, so I'm doing two posts on Facebook a day and one post on Instagram. That's how I do it. Because I also know that before I post something on Facebook, I need to spend about five to 10 minutes going and commenting on other people, especially my potential promoters, potential customers, people that I'm trying to talk to about Thrive, right? I wanna go and socialize and comment and get engaged with them before I do my post. Because once I do my post, they're more likely to see it if I've already been engaging with them. So that's why I only do two times on Facebook because that's a lot for me. I'm not, you know, 
social media is not really my favorite thing. And so for me, I know that I'm gonna post two times a day. I'm gonna get engaged before I post. Same thing with Instagram, okay? So five reach outs, four follow-ups, three social media, and the two stands for two new people added to your list. I've heard a few people having a hard time with this one, so I'm gonna break it down a little bit more. This means that you're adding two people to your list. Maybe this weekend you went to a party, a birthday party. Maybe you went to Chuck E. Cheese and you met some new moms. Did you add those new moms to your list? I'm sure you met at least two people this weekend. Maybe you're at a football party, whatever. Write those two names down. I know that for me, I met somebody new this weekend at church. We went to a new um, community group for church. And so I met a couple of new couples. And as we were talking, we realized we had kids the same age at my kids' school. And I said, oh my goodness, are you on Facebook? Let's find each other on Facebook and connect that way. And now I've already friended her. She's on my list for today as new people. I went and found her, friend requested her, sent her a message. Tomorrow I'll be reaching out to her. She's on my reach out list for tomorrow. Um, another great thing that you can do is these Facebook groups that we've been talking about where you go in and you get involved. Let's say you have a lab and you got involved on a group with people who love labs and you started commenting in there and you met somebody that you think is really witty, really funny, you're really connecting with her. Send her a private message and a friend request. That's a new person today, okay? Another idea is what about your old high school friends? What about your old work friends? What about your old college friends? What about your old elementary school friends? What about your old neighbors? Go try to find people that you know you're already connected to that fit in some of those categories, like let's say an old neighbor, and then you look to see who they're friends with. Maybe you see a name and you think, ooh, that might have been my old neighbor, Melissa, but now she has a different last name. Send that, Write that person's name down on your two new people. Send them a message. Hey, are you the Melissa that used to live on Windy Drive in Stone Mountain, Georgia? I think that I saw that you're friends with Mary Jo, and I'm friends with Mary Jo, and she lived on my street too. Is that who you are? Okay? So five reach outs, four follow-ups, three social media, two new people added to your list, and one reach outs to your upline leaders. Guys, this one is important. It means that you're doing a three-way call at least once a day. Okay, let's be honest. Do we always do three-way calls? Sometimes a day goes by and you don't. That's okay. But if you are truly wanting to build your business, you've got to get people connected on the phone. Shout out to Josh today. He literally had this girl that was texting him about how she wasn't feeling much on her sample. He said to her, can you talk right now? She said, yes. He called her. He called me and he said, hey, listen, I got my friend Blair on the phone. She was on the phone with me when you were texting that. And she said, get her on the phone. Let's see if we can help her. So why don't you walk us through what's going on? Okay, that's a three-way call. All right, I also had um, some people who connected me, Nicole Ponda, shout out to you. You connected me to two people over the last couple of days by Facebook Messenger. Those people weren't available to get on the phone this weekend with her, so instead she put them on a three-way message chat on Facebook and said, hey Blair, this is my friend so-and-so. She just got started on her sample. She's really excited. Today's day two. This is what she's been noticing so far, and I just thought it'd be great if she heard somebody else's story. I hop on a voice messenger, introduce myself, tell her a little bit about my Thrive experience, say hi, and we're communicating back and forth. Now I know that yesterday was her day three, let's say. I'm asking her, hey, did you notice anything today? Do you love how simple and easy the three steps are? What shake flavor were you tasting? I'm asking questions, I'm engaging her so that we're having a conversation, okay? So the one can stand for any way that you're connecting with an up on leader. It can also, the one can also stand for you maybe shouting out somebody, like maybe saying, hey, today I have a brand new Thriver starting her Thrive Experience story, she, her Thrive Experience. She's so excited about what she's going to be noticing. Um, I'm so excited for you, Melissa. I can't wait to hear what happens. And then you tag Blair in it and send me a message. Blair, I just tagged you in this person's post. They're just starting today. Can you go give her some love? All right? So that can be different things that the one stands for. So guys, here's the thing. As your leaders... We are wanting to make sure that you are doing the do every single day. It's not always about the results, it's about the action. Because a lot of you guys saw my PPA was super high the other day. And listen, here's the deal. I have been doing the 54321 for two weeks straight. I have been trying to commit because if I'm gonna ask you to do it, I better be doing it. So I've been really committed to doing my reach outs, to doing my follow-ups. I also reached out to a lot of my customers. They were on my, on my follow-up list who are not thriving for free. I noticed that a few of them have one customer, but they don't have two. And so before September ended, that was a big part of my follow-ups. It was, hey, listen, I noticed you already have so-and-so underneath you, but you only need one more. 
you know, I have some amazing uh, credits slash coupons that are ending at the end of September for you. I would love to be able to help your friend to thrive for half off, or I'd love to help your friend to thrive for $35 off of her first month. Wouldn't you have loved that your first month? So I was engaging those conversations. I had a few of my current customers get me in three-way messages with the people who they thought would love Thrive, and I got six new customers that way, guys. Six new customers just from reaching out to current customers and then putting me in message groups with somebody else, all right? If you guys haven't seen that video on how we do that, I will definitely post it below. Um, but that's, you can, you know, tweak what I do a little bit for yourself. But that's basically what I was doing. And so because I was actively working on my 54321, I was in my reports more. I was noticing who I needed to follow up with, who I needed to reach out to, who's been on my customer list and never ordered. I've been doing this for four years. I have a lot of people. So I offered some great discounts this month. I had a lot of credits. And actually my $233 in credits just popped up for my September rewards. So now I'm gonna be using those to get more people to order, right? We also have Thrive Kids, guys, and that's another thing that I hope you guys are utilizing right now for reach outs and follow ups. I will tell you that my kids love it. Like this morning, Noah asked for a second one. I had to say no. I said he could have a second one after football this afternoon because there's no reason for him to have two in the morning. But they are great and they taste amazing and they actually like it. So that is a great opportunity for you to reach out to people who maybe you need to talk to for the very first time and talk about Kids Thrive. Offer to drop it off at their house if they live local to you, right? Um, all right, so I know I gave you guys a lot of suggestions, but there's just so many things running through my head and so many ways that you can utilize your 54321. And then we have Cabo Friday where you know tons more announcements are gonna come out. So you'll have even more reasons to reach out and to follow up to people. So make sure you're keeping yourself organized. And that's the next thing I wanna talk about um, before I talk about Fun Friday. I love Fun Friday because when I used to teach kindergarten, we used to call Fridays Fun Fridays. So I'm so glad that we're gonna bring that term back. Um, but on your list, I want to show you guys something. I have been utilizing my list a little bit different than maybe some of you. Some of you guys might be utilizing these um, lists. Like I know Beth writes the person's name down. That's how she likes to do it. That's how it's easy for her to glance and to use. But for me, I love my future tracker list. And I have them for the 5th. I have them for the 10th or the 15th. I have them for the 25th. And then I have them for free customers who've never ordered. Then I have a bunch of stacks of people who have ordered. So for me, I personally love the Future Thriver, the contact tracker that you can get on wethrivevault.com under checklist. And that's huge for me. That's how I keep myself organized because I'm doing a lot of reach outs and a lot of follow ups and I need to know who to reach out to and follow up with again, right? So this I use more as a checklist. I'm checking off that I do it each and every day. It's on my calendar, okay? And we'll be talking about that tomorrow night when we do the calendar Zoom on Tuesday night. But I really try to make sure that I'm checking off the five spots for reach outs, four spots for follow ups, three social media things, two new people added to my list, and one um, upline connection a day. So as I'm doing that, I'm using it more as a check list and I'm utilizing my um, contact tracker. But you might be actually writing the names in. Whatever you want to do is fine, but just do the do. Don't get stuck on not doing anything because on fun friday here's what's going on on fun friday so on fun friday you will see a post every single friday that will be titled fun friday and on fridays we want you to click on the tracker some of you did it last week only 10 of you did it last week so either one of two things happened you didn't know about it or you forgot about it oh i'll say three things either you didn't know about it so you didn't do it or you forgot about it or it was, you were having a hard time with it because some people were having a hard time with it. We fixed the glitch, it's totally up and working. So this Friday, you'll see a Fun Friday post. Underneath it, you'll see the Google form that you click on. You'll fill out how many you did each day. Did you do five reach outs? Maybe you only did three, be honest. Because this is only for you, it's only gonna help you, be honest. Yes, I have weekly prizes for some of the top. One week it might be the top three, one week it might be the top five, one week it might be the top two, you won't know. That way I make sure everybody's you know turning stuff in. And you will get extra points for dancing on Friday or singing your way into the weekend. So what you'll do is do a quick little video and post it there in the comments. It could be you dancing, it could be your kids dancing, I don't care, just make it fun. Because what that's gonna do is it's gonna build community. We're gonna be excited to see what we do. We're gonna be excited to see who's doing what. You know what else is gonna happen? We're gonna be remembering to hop on on Friday and fill it out, right? Oh, Maria wants to get on, let me put, put her on real quick. 
uh, to fill it out because it's fun and you want to see you want to see Sherry dancing you want to see Kristen dancing I know you want to see Cliff and Melissa dancing so you'll hop on because exactly that you'll want to know what everybody else is doing so it'll help you remember hey Maria hi how are you I'm, I'm good, and I, I'm so loving this. I think oh, all of yeah. us kind of woke up thinking the, the exact same thing. I just wanted to get on and say um, I absolutely love everything about this. Um, I'm so excited just to see what is going to happen over the next 90 days in our businesses. And, um, you know, guys, Blair is spot on as to um, the. It, it doesn't matter – your how it, it matters just to do and everyone has a different way of doing things in this business but when it's the income producing activities which is is everything that she's describing in the five four three two one that is the do when we say to do the do to get the get that is the the do that is required um to get you towards your goals it that right there is what is building those relationships with people um so that they are seeing that thrive life that you live out loud boldly and proudly and they make that decision i want what she has i mean mm -hmm. who could be watching blair and not go i want what she has <laughs> right i mean not only just physically, you know, but um, as as a leader and as, you know, a business builder and, and she shares her life, she shares her family, her faith, um, you know, her goals are not just specific to her business business as a number saying, no, it's about thriving in life in general and in, in all areas of her life. And, um, I absolutely love it. Um, I will tell you guys, um, I know you've got some, um, things that are going on in your pages, we're going to do some things to add on. So whatever you submit for Blair, that can also work um, in our big calendar challenge group um, that you guys are able to do that. Um, I'm excited to see what some of the prizes are. And, and hopefully, I mean, I'll be honest, guys, I'm hoping that every 200k leader in our organization will do exactly what Blair's doing. Um, and I, I just want to get on here and validate your leadership to your people. I mean, I know they know you're amazing, <laughs> um, but having someone that is in the zone like she is, um, you guys are so, so, so fortunate. And guys, success leaves clues. So follow the leader and um, wake up every day knowing you can. And no matter what life throws at you, um, you're, you're going to do because you know that life is going to throw things at you, but that the time is going to pass anyway. It's going to pass anyway. Way. Um, and these things that you're being challenged to do, guys, literally, it could be done, you know, while you're getting ready in the morning. Um, you know, what we do is from our phone anyway. You know, a lot of us say we work from home. Heck, half of the time, we're not even at home, but we have our phone right. with us. So we can really work from anywhere. Um, and I, I love just the golden nuggets that you've shared as far as, um, you know, your, your reach out and your connection. And yes, when it says on their three way call, guys, if it's a three-way text, a three-way chat, a uh, we love using the voice memos. I mean, um, it's kind of uh, Sheila had given a great little analogy the other day of um, her daughter and a project she had for school, and basically it involved her moving the plant to a different location in the house for it to get a little bit more sun. And sometimes we just have to move things a little bit um, so that the sun shines a little brighter on it. Um, and mm. every, you know, different things work for different people, but the, the bottom line is always, how can we, how can we introduce people to thrive? How can we plug them in to somebody else that is just excited about what this product is doing for people? Um, and how consistent can we really stay in this business? Um, so I love the tracking. Um, I mean, it, it's accountability. And um, I've seen a couple of flyers that some people put up today. I think Sheila actually just shared it in our team page, but she said, um, what was it? Um, 21 days to form a habit and 90 days to form a lifestyle. Is that what I think that's said? what I just saw it too, and I copied it right before. So it's in my I phone. Know, I, I can't look at it. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it's 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 so good. And um, and let me just tell you, speaking from experience, guys. Uh, I mean, you'll go back and in Team Thrive Nation, there's a there's a video I did almost to the date. Um, in, in Team Thrive Nation, challenging 90 days, um, and this was two years ago. Um, and um, it, so. Well, yeah, it was 2016 when I posted that video. Um, but let me just tell you, this time of year, 
is a huge time of year for our company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, October Breast Cancer Awareness kind of kicks things off. We have um, Thrive Fit coming into play this month. I mean, we, people are going to Cabo in a few days. I mean, this is a huge run for us. October and November are some of the, the biggest months that we've seen. If you really maximize everything that the company is throwing um, our way just to set us up for success. And obviously you guys see your leaders are, are doing the exact same thing. We want to set you guys up for success. And so sometimes it's just, if we can throw a little bit more of the how to's, you know, um, and last but not least, I have to say guys, um, you know, we're encouraging the five, four, three, two, one. Um, you know, if the counter challenge is a little different, I mean, basically all the themes are always the same, but don't be discouraged. If you leave one thing out, just write down the things you did and, and you celebrate your progress, but then you can also as a business owner, right. Um, and when you reach out to your upline, right, you can say, Hey, here's my last week's accountability. Um, you know, here's what I did. But here's a few things I didn't do. What the heck? Like, what is wrong? What is my mental block? Why is that so hard for me? And talk to your leader about that. Talk to him about why is this so bad and challenging for me? You know, that's what we're here for. Because maybe some of the things that, that you know, Blair is a natural at, I'm not a natural at that. But I can have an honest conversation with her and she can give me a few, just maybe a few encouraging words or maybe ways that she tweaked it to make it work for her. And then guys, you'll see, okay, where am I missing out on some things? Okay, this is what I need to focus on. And then it's kind of that, Five, four, three, two, one, okay, I'm going to do it. You know, it's like yeah. that countdown of, okay, I just have to do it. Even though it makes me want to sweat, even though it gives me butterflies in my stomach, I'm going to do it anyway. And then it feels really good when you get to pick up the phone the next day or the next week when you're checking back in with that specific leader. Okay, Blair, I was nervous about doing this, but I took your advice and I did it. And usually you don't just end with I did it usually there's something else you get to share that's exciting because you did it. So, um, anyway, I know I've kept you guys on for a little bit. That's I just want to hop on and thank you. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for you, for what you do for your team every day. Um, we love you and appreciate you. And I learn from you daily too. So thank you. Thank you for all you do. Well, thanks for hopping on. Thank you. Oh, you're so appreciate welcome. it. You're so welcome. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs> Um, that was a really good point too, though, guys, that we're on our way though to the end of the year and there's so much stuff going on, but also think about how many people are tired, exhausted, run down and stressed out when it comes to the holidays. How many people do Thanksgiving and Christmas really stress out? They are working, you know, like crazy to try to make this beautiful Thanksgiving or Christmas for their family or family stresses them out or they're working a lot and they have all these parties they have to attend. I know that this is the time of the year that I talk a lot about being tired and stress out and, you know, sick and tired of being sick and tired. And so this is the perfect season for so many reasons. And so it's really exciting that we have so many reasons to reach out to follow up. Jennifer, I see your um, question about breast cancer awareness. Um, my suggestions with that are to reach out to all of your current auto ship, put on your follow-up for this week. Each day you're doing your four follow-ups. So I would do for your follow-up, reach out to all of your auto ship customers first about adding on either 10 or 50 or 100 to their current auto ship so that they can give back to breast cancer awareness. I would get comfortable with knowing exactly what the foundation is. I've not done that yet today because I just saw the email right before I went live, but I would get comfortable with what the foundation is, a little bit about them so that when they ask, you have it in front of you, maybe print out the flyer so that you can explain it to them. And then on your reach outs that you're doing with newer people, I would say to them, and the really great thing is, is that we are all about giving back. We have, not only do we have this amazing product called Nourish and explain that, so you can give to that, or if breast cancer awareness is something close and dear to your heart, you can give back by doing kind of like what Publix says. You can just add on $10 to your purchase and it'll go to this great organization. So there's lots of ways to give back. And if you give back $10 to breast cancer awareness, maybe if you guys have promo codes, you say to them, I'll give you free shipping. 
or I'll give you 10% off. Or if you don't have promo codes, I know I'll be saying to my new customers this month, I'll give you $25 off if you plan to give $10 or more to breast cancer awareness. So it's getting them to donate, which is exciting to them. And it's also helping them basically pay for their shipping and their donation. So something like that. It'd even be, I'll give you $13.99 in credits because that'll cover your shipping for donating to a good cause. You know, or whatever you want to do. But these are just different ideas that will help you. So the biggest thing that I want to remind you guys of is it's about the daily action, like Maria said. That's what it's all about. It's about taking action and not worrying about the results, but doing the do to get the get, right? And you guys will start to see that happen. And if you feel like this is something really difficult for you, reaching out, following up, then I highly suggest reading the book Go For No. Because that will teach you that it's a subconscious thing that's happened to us since we were kids. We've learned that no is bad. Well, really, no can be good. No means you're getting closer to a yes. No means I don't really understand what you're talking about, right? And so I'm going to go back to that analogy and end it with this that I tell you guys about all the time, which is when you go to a restaurant, my husband and I went yesterday, we went to Houston's, just the two of us without the kids, and the very first thing they asked is, can I show you the cocktail menu? And my husband doesn't drink, so we both said, no, thank you. Can I offer you something else to drink? No, thank you. Water's good. Okay. Come back. Can, we, can I offer you an appetizer? No, thanks. Do you want to hear about our fish specials? No, thanks. Um, are you ready to order? Not yet. Why don't you come back in a few minutes? Okay, how many times did I say no to that poor person in the very first five minutes of their conversation with us? Did he go in the back and cry? No, he came back. He asked if we wanted for dinner. He came back and asked if we wanted dessert. We said no. He asked if we wanted coffee. We said no. He didn't take it personal. That was his job, to get us the information, to ask the question, and then it was up to me whether or not I wanted to do it or not. And it doesn't mean that next time I come in, I'm not going to want the coffee and the dessert. I might even want a drink next time I come in. But this time I didn't. So don't take it personally and keep going because your job is to help as many people as possible to learn about what the Thrive Experience is and to be able to get started on the Thrive Experience so that they can live a happier and healthier life, so that they can live the life that they deserve, right? So I'm ready to see you guys all live the life that you deserve, and I'm so excited for this 54321, and I cannot wait to hear about what it's doing for you and your business. Please let me know. I was so thankful that Nicole and Pam reached out to me this weekend and told me some great things, and that's why they're going live. I won't force you to go live on our team page, but I am excited for them sharing. Nicole Ponda is going to be sharing with us tomorrow at 1 p.m. on our team page, and Pamela is going to be sharing with us on Wednesday with me at 2 p.m. on our team page. So I'm excited for you guys to see that, and with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Can't wait to see you dancing on Friday, and yes, Andrea will be dancing from Cabo. Bye, guys. Whoa. My phone jumped.